Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video, where today I'll be showing you my favorite beginner chase build for survivors. Chasing can be one of the most thrilling and nerve wracking parts of the game, but with the right build, you can turn the tables on the killer and escape to safety. The four perks you'll need are resilience, dead hard, light, and windows of opportunity. Once you have those in your loadout, just sit back and relax and I'll show you where, when, and why to use these perks. And real quick, if you end up enjoying the video, hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom as it lets me know that you guys want more videos like this. But without further ado, let's jump right into it and get you surviving those chases. Good old Cold Wind Farm, my favorite map. Alright, to start out, when I'm on a gen, especially at the beginning of the match, I use my windows of opportunity to see my surroundings, see what loops we have, pallets, vaults, anything like that. It looks like we got a demo. Oh my, oh my god, the spin. Oh, that's so disrespectful. Oh, the stun? Let me get some of that. All right. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. Damn. All right, we're going to light the way. Remember, the goal of using light isn't to just run into a dead zone or just run around the same loop, but it's to help you get to the next loop. All right, waste more time against the killer. So you're not wanting to just hit the vault and then just run into an open space with nothing. And that's also why we have windows of opportunity. When you lithe and run, you can see where your next looping pattern is going to be. And that's key to one, increasing the length of your chase, and two, giving your teammates more times on gins, healings, things like that. Alright, again, the killer is about to hook right there, so I'm looking at my surroundings, seeing where I can go next. That way, in case they come my way, I know exactly what to do. Alright, sounds like they're coming this way. I'm going to go to Dimitri because I know this is a very strong loop. Now, again, I'm not going to use my life right away. We're going to see how this killer loops. And once you get better and better, you can hold the, the light as long as possible. It's not even bad. We, we can take a hit too. Like, it's not bad to take a hit. All right, we're going to pop our syringe. Go ahead and throw that. He messed up. He messed up his power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my life. We're going to go to this next loop. We knew this next loop was here because we had... We had windows of opportunity. And look at that. Our syringe came back. And we got this done. We're wasting a lot of time here. And he knows it. He knows it too. That's why he's dropping chase. That syringe heal worked at the perfect timing. I will say, if we didn't have that syringe, we probably would have been dead there. But now we know we don't have that pallet there, right? Because it doesn't pop up with windows of opportunity. We do know we have this pallet. We have that pallet over there. Another pallet here. And we also have Shaq. So if he's coming from this direction, I'm immediately going to one of these three pallets here. And now that I have life up, I might just go straight to that pallet, use it to get to these loops over here. So to me, it's very important to know what your next move is, because what I see a lot of people do is they see Shaq right here, and they think that's their, their next move no matter what, just because Shaq is a safe place. But if the killer's coming from this direction, you're going to take a hit before you even get to Shaq, or you're just not going to be in a good placement to have a good Shaq run. Nice, we got the gin on. Nice, we dodged that. All right, here we go. We're going to use Shaq now. Oh, man, do I hate those hits. Now, here at Shaq, I could have liked the way, but since we still have Shaq Pallet, we know we can stay here for quite a while. Oh, we don't have Shaq Pallet. All right, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> Guys, don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Guys, I swear Shaq Pallet was up. <laughs> All right, another tip when you have Windows of Opportunity. Double check to make sure the pallet's up. <laughs> Alright, so our game plan here, since the gins are here and then on the other side of Shaq, we're going to take them far away into this corner because we know there's a down pallet over there, because we saw it earlier with Windows of Opportunity. However, we do know he's over in this direction, so we're actually probably going to move this way now. Alright, she went down, but we should get this done in time. Alright, so they're getting that door ready. We're going to get this door ready. Yeah, he's going straight to that door, so we're going to go get the save. Oh my gosh, they opened the door immediately. That's so bad. Oh, that's not good. Now we're really pressed for time. So another tip on in-game, especially if someone's on the hook or on the ground dying or being chased, if all four survivors aren't ready to get out, do not immediately open up the doors. Because that ruins any chance of saving the survivor that needs help the most. But we should make this out. They don't have Noed. I'm not sure where she went. Oh, she's right here. Okay. Yeah, so we do get out. As long as they don't have Blood Warden. If they have Blood Warden, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> they don't. All right, cool. All right, GG's. GG's. 
It's like we got a Billy. Ooh, a silent Billy? We're gonna go ahead and use our lights just because it is a Billy. This one's gonna be an interesting loop. Hope he doesn't have Bam Bam. He does not. Alright, looks like he left us. See, so yeah, the whole time, guys, I was using Windows of Opportunity just to see where my vaults and pallets were. Honestly, if I did not have that during that chase, might have gone down. And that light at the window really saved me as well. Now, it does look like he has the perk that blocks the uh, windows once the generator is completed. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, he's here. Oh, he's right there. All right, there we go. Nice. I don't know how he got there so fast. We're going to use Lythe right away. There we go. We got to the next loop. Just like that. In fact, we can we can go even further. Nice. Okay, I will admit that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I ain't going to lie. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we die here. Yep. Dang, I messed up. I agree that way too much. Are they going for the Sabo? Oh, nice. We have a chance. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe we can take a hit. Someone can take a hit. I think we get off. We do. Oh my gosh, that is so clutch. That is so clutch. Is that a flashbang? Oh, I thought they threw flashbang. Alright, so we do make that. We know he doesn't have Bam Bam. Nice, he doubled back. See, we were, we were watching for that red stain. We're gonna watch for it again. Just like that, boom. Watch for that red stain. Once he commits, you go through. We're gonna do it again. See the red stain? He doubled back. We're gonna go hop again. We're gonna slow vault that so he can't see us doing it. Or he can't hear us doing it. I think he's going around the other corner. Oh, he's on the teammate now. Alright, we're gonna move. We're gonna move. I know she was still over there. Hopefully he didn't see us there. He did. Yeah, we die here. We have nothing here. Unfortunately, it was just a dead area. But we did waste a lot of time, so we'll take that. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough. This is a good Billy, too. That silent build is lethal. Alright, so we see where our next pathing is. messed up. We should be able to make this. We do. We're going to use our lithe and get away. Alright, let's get the gates ready. Again, windows are blocked, so we're going to have to use pallets. He broke off chase, so we're going to try to figure out if we can see him first, since he does have that silent build on. Other teammates at the other door, so we should be good. Alright, GG's though. Oh, we got ourselves a Vecna. Okay. Alright, he's back on us. Let's see what we can do with it. Not much. <laughs> We do make the next pilot though. And I forgot to mention, we do have resilience. So it does give us a 9% repair speed, vaulting speed, healing speed. So that's a huge help. He's back on us. We did just find Ruin. Unfortunately, I didn't see it the first time. So that's kind of unfortunate for me. So we're going to have to really loop this, this pallet. We get the sun time. Nice. He's going to break that. We're going to head downstairs. Oh, he went the wrong way. Very nice. Alright, he does see us, so we're going to lead him away as far as possible from the survivor on hook. We have an okay tile to play with. We're going to try to bait his mage of hand. Once we get that out of the way... Actually, we just got to use it. Actually, thankfully, he opened this door. We would have been trapped inside if he didn't have that open. <laughs> we'll take it. Oh, of course he has no way out. Oh my gosh. So we got we gotta wait it out. We could take a hit for a teammate actually. Nice. We'll take a hit for her and move on. She got the door ready. Should be done in time. We take a hit for David. There we go, just like that. 